section 9 6. This is going to be for extra credit. If you're watching this, there is one exam question that's similar to this, so I really encourage you to do this and try to learn it. But classify and convert to standard form. The extra credit problems include graphing. I'm not going to graph them here. It's much nicer to graph on graph paper. All right, first start with classifying. Okay, well, looking at the rules, okay, remember parabolas only one is squared, but I've got two squared, okay, and they're both squared. They're being added, okay, so that's a circle or an ellipse. They're both being squared and they're added. Oh, and their coefficients are both one, same coefficient, that makes this a circle, all right, so this is a circle. So now I know my standard form of a circle is going to be x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Okay. So what I have to do to this equation, because I got x's and I got y's and I got this constant over here, that's kind of crazy. What we're going to do is we're going to rearrange it. We're going to rearrange it so the, all the x's are together, all the y's are together, and the constants go on the other side. Okay, So in our rearranging process, we're going to have x squared minus 2x. Now I'm going to skip a little space, and you'll see why that is in a moment. And then I'm going to say, okay, plus y squared plus 4y. I'm going to skip a little space. I'm going to say, okay, that equals move the 1 over, it's going to become a negative 1. Okay. Now why have I skipped a little space? Well, because what we have to do is completing the square. We have to complete the square on the x's and we have to complete the square on the y's. You remember completing the square from chapter 4 when we did quadratics? Well, completing the square means we're going to add something. Oh, and that means I'm going to add something here. On that side, anything I put here or here, I have to also add on that side. So I'm going to have plus something and plus something. Okay. <coughs> now, what do you add? Well, remember, B, we're going to divide it by 2. Okay, so... 2, or negative 2 divided by 2 is 1, or negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. So that's what we're going to add. So we're adding a 1 here, okay? So we're going to add b over 2 squared. Okay? And, and if it helps, you might want to put these things in parentheses so that you only look at the x's. And now I'm only going to look at the y's. And I'm going to be like, okay, b is... 4, I'm going to divide it by 2, that's 2, square it, oh, that's what I'm going to add here, 4. So on this side, I'm adding 1, because I added a 1 here, and I'm adding 4, because I added a 4 there. Now, we've made perfect square trinomials, so we factor them. Okay, it's going to be x minus 1 squared plus y plus 2 squared. And you know what this 1 and this 2 is? It's b over 2. Okay. The negative 1 is b over 2. The 2 is b over 2. Equals 4. Okay. Oh, look, I've converted it to standard form. How convenient. Okay. If we are going to graph it, we need the center. So the center is at the point 1, negative 2, and the radius, square root of 4. Okay. So, piece of cake. That was the easy one, guys. Here comes some more difficult ones. All right, this one, I'm going to warn you now, we're not going to get very nice numbers for the graphing part. 
Same thing. Start with classification. Okay, what is it? X squared, Y squared, adding. Circle or ellipse? Oh, two, one. Ellipse. The uh, coefficients are not the same, so it is an ellipse. All right. So since it's an ellipse, A must be greater than B because A is the distance from the center to the vertex. All right, I got to keep that in mind later. We'll worry about that when it comes time for graphing. In the meantime, we do the same thing we just finished. We're going to take and we're going to put the x's together and the y's together and move constants over there. So I've got uh, 2x squared minus 4x, save a little space, plus y squared, oh look, there isn't anything else to go with the y's, that's convenient, and then equals 4. Okay. Since there's nothing, there's no y term, I don't have to complete the square on this variable. But here we have to complete the square. But before we can actually complete the square, the coefficient on the x squared must be 1. So we're going to factor a 2 out. Okay. So we're going to treat this whole piece all by itself. And we're going to just let those guys come along for the ride, as I like to say. So factor out a 2, it's going to give us x squared minus 2x, and now this is where we're going to add something to complete the square, plus y squared equals 4, and then plus something, because we are completing the square, so if we add something here, we got to add it over there. Now, looking at what's in these parentheses, we're completing the square on that, we're going to do b over 2, where b is negative 2, Square or divided by 2 squared is going to be just 1. Okay. We added 1 inside the parentheses, but we're not just adding 1 to this side because there's this 2 out here, which would have to be distributed, so we're actually adding 1 times 2. So it's actually 1 times 2. 1 times 2 is what we're actually adding, which is, you know, 2. Now, factor, so this is 2, x minus 1 squared plus y squared equals 1 plus 2, which is 6. Now, remember, standard form for an ellipse, whatever's on this side equals 1. So now we're going to divide everything by 6. When we do that, 2 goes into 6 3 times, so that's going to leave us with x minus 1 squared over 3 plus y squared over 6 equals 1. Now, remember, a is greater than b, so a squared is greater than b squared, so this is a. It has a vertical major axis, okay, this is b. And you can use all of that. You're going to get some ugly numbers for graphing with this one. And you know that happens sometimes. <clears throat> and the last one that I'm going to show you how to do, and again, I'm just converting it to standard form. I've already gone over the graphing from standard form with you. Classify it first. Okay, x squared, y squared. There's a minus. X squared minus Y squared. That tells me immediately ellipse. Okay. Coefficients are different also. Okay. Not ellipse. I'm sorry. I misspoke. Hyperbola. So now we're going to convert to standard form. This is hyperbola. Okay. And the same thing. We're going to put our x's together and our y's together. We're going to do completing the square, and it's going to be fun. 
So starting with the 4x squared minus 16x, okay, Sca save it a little space because we're going to complete the square, but i got to factor that first. And then the one's going to be negative y squared minus 4y, and that's going to equal add the 4 on the other side. So it added 4, that's why I got the positive 4 over there. Now we're going to do some factoring. Okay. I'm going to factor a 4 out of here, so that's a 4. x squared minus 4x, and then we're going to complete the square by adding something. Now we need to factor out of this the negative. Okay. So it's going to be negative and then y. When we factor a negative out of this, it becomes plus, so this is y squared, positive y squared, plus 4 y, and then plus whatever equals 4, plus whatever, plus whatever, because that's going to be part of our completing the square process. Now, b over 2 is what goes here, b over 2 squared goes here, b is 4, divided by 2 is 2, squared is 4, okay? But I didn't just add 4, I added 4 times 4. Oh, 4 times 4. Now over here, b is 4 again, so 4 over 2 is 2. Squared is 4. But I didn't just add 4, I added 4 times a negative. So technically, I subtracted 4. So this is going to be plus a negative 4, okay? Now, factor your perfect square trinomials, add up over there. So this is 4 times x squared minus 4, uh, minus 2, sorry, I'm factoring and trying to do all things at once, it's crazy. Minus y plus 2 squared equals, well this positive 4 and this negative 4 are going to cancel each other out. 4 times 4 is 16. Now I need it to equal 1, so we divide everything by 16. And here we have 4 goes into 16 4 times, so we've got x minus 2 squared over 4 minus y plus 2 squared over 16 equals 1. a is 4, because on a hyperbola, a always is first. b is, or b squared is 16, a squared is 4, for your graphing purposes, and you'll use that to find c. Okay, to collect your extra credit, you're going to do page 652, 38 through 44, even, signing evens, show all your work and make sure your graphs are correct. You can get graph paper from me if you need to.